Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com and in this video we are going to look at how to randomly assign names to different groups using an Excel formula. So we're going to be very quickly and easily distributing these names randomly across three different groups. That is the plan here. We have 12 names we want them in three different groups. And let's imagine the names of the three groups are red, blue and green. Uh, so these are my three waves or whatever you want to call them. Now let's look at two different ways of doing it. Here's way number one. Now they're both going to use the excellent choose function in Excel. So in cell B2, let's imagine I want to put the group name here. I shall start with the choose function. Let me zoom in a little bit more so we can see the formula that I write. And for anyone who may not be familiar with or have seen any of my previous videos on this, um, you want to check this one out. It's very good. Flies under the radar a little bit. It's one of those kind of logical functions. And it will choose a value based on a list of values, really. So what we're going to get is the rand between function involved to randomly produce a number between number one and number three. So I've just separated those with a comma there. Three different groups, yeah? Close off the bracket, put in a comma. The choose function now has its index number, which is a randomly produced number between one and three. It now wants the three values. We could write these in any order. Just going to put red in, then blue in, and then green in. And I'll close my bracket, press enter, and copy that down to the bottom. And there's the formula. Randomly produce a number between 1 and 3, and assign the values red, blue, or green to one of those index numbers. And that is a quick way that we can quickly randomly assign those 12 names into three different groups. Now one thing that technique doesn't do is distribute them evenly. I can see straight away, this is actually quite a bad example, it's not, it's not often this bad, that, but out of 12 I've managed to get, is that 8, uh, 7, sorry, greens? Uh, 7 greens, just 3 blues and 2 reds. So, you know, there's a lot more in the green group than, than any others. And maybe, depending why you're doing it, that's okay. But if you're looking for some even distribution, then it's not enough. And we're going to look at another approach. So let's look at how we can evenly distribute those 12 names into three different groups. And we will be using the choose function again. But this time we will also be using the rand function instead of rand between. And I'm going to enter this in column C. You could enter this anywhere you wish. I'm just going to put it in the next empty cell along. And it's a very simple function. It's just going to have two brackets on the end, no arguments. So rand, short for random, uh, just like the today function with the brackets there. And this will produce a random number between 0 and 1, which by itself does not look maybe uh, too useful, but it is a random number, and we can then kind of round that or rank it and whatever you may want to do with that number. But it is randomly distributed. And in column B, we are now going to do the formula similar to before to distribute them into groups. So the choose function. Uh, let me zoom again for ease of uh, reading. Choose function, index number, assign a different value to it. The index number this time, I'm going to rank those values. Now, some of you watching this video, there's a good chance you've heard me talk about ranking values. I've done quite a bit on it. I have a sports league table course uh, where I show how to rank players and, and teams into league positions based on varying conditions. Um, here I just want to rank those numbers. So it's cell C2, the first value in that range. 
And then we have cells C13 to C2. If I go backwards, because that formula is kind of overlapping that cell, and I'll make that absolute. And we're then going to divide that value by four. So I have 12 names. I want them distributed evenly into three different groups. And uh, if I try to distribute 12 names into three groups, there will be four in each group. So I want to divide that by four. Bear in mind, please, that you could have that value in a different cell. It may be like how many people in each group, and you just type four in the cell F2, then I reference F2, and then people can change that easily in the future uh, if that's what you need from this. In just a one-off scenario, I'm just going to type four. Now, what I also want to do is round these numbers because we are ranking with lots of decimals here. Uh, we could produce some errors uh, when, when dividing and all this kind of stuff. So I want to bring in the round up function to always round the value up. And I'm going to round it to no digits. You can just round it up to an actual index number, which is what the choose function wants. So round up the resulting value uh, to a full on whole index number. And then we're in the choose function and putting in our values just like before. So as I rattle in my red, blue and green here, and I love it when the formula has to go into a different line, shows you're doing something exciting. <laughs> but yeah, I can just about squeeze this one in. So red, blue and green based on those values. If I press enter on that and copy that formula down, here we have some evenly distributed names. I have four names in green. Uh, where's my red one? Four in red and four in blue. We have an equal distribution uh, by using the rand function and then that one. So that is a, an approach that we can make purely using Excel formulas. Now we have used the rand between in the first example and the rand function in this example. And as you can see right now, as I go around doing things, they're constantly evaluating as work is done. So it might be, depending on your scenario for using this, that once you've written in those formulas and distributed those values, you might want to select the cells in question, uh, like these these rand, uh, these rand ones really, and quickly convert those into values. And you could do that by highlighting those cells, hovering your mouse over the edge border of that range, and with your right mouse button, click and drag away from the range, and then back onto the range, and release your mouse, and copy them as values only. That is a real quick way that you can replace them with values so it doesn't continue to calculate each time. And you might want to do that with that range as well if you're going to do that. Um, otherwise, another option would be to go to the formulas tab and turn your calculation options onto manual instead of automatic. And then you can always calculate them with the calculate sheet button when you need it. Uh, yet another option will be getting macros to do that kind of stuff. So depending if this is something you're doing very, very often, or whether it's just a kind of one-off thing, and you just want to bash in a formula, get it done, convert them to values, uh, names have been assigned. Very quick and simple and to the point. You can even copy a formula you've done before and do that. It could be as simple as that for you. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel, and come and check us out at computergaga.com.